These videos are for educational purposes only. We do not condone the use of anabolic steroids. Hey there brothers. Once again, Larry, at your service, giving you everything you need know about anabolic steroids. In this video, I will share with you the most important information about the anabolic steroid, Trimbalone. I tell you guys, Trimbalone is one of the most powerful anabolic steroids in existence. It is an injectable anabolic steroid used to gain large amounts of lean muscle and strength while enhancing fat loss. In fact, Trimbalone is considered as one of the most potent steroids available in the market. But did you know that this steroid has been derived from the anabolic steroid called Nandrolone? Yes, just like Nandrolone, Trimbalone generally helps in providing androgenic strength to the body. The enhanced strength provided by this steroid binds the androgenic receptors very strongly which helps to build muscles. As you can now imagine, it is very popular in the field of bodybuilding where bodybuilders take this steroid to increase their muscle mass rapidly. Now, I will acquaint you with the three types of the trimbolones, enanthate, acetate and parabolin. The two most popular forms of trimbolones are enanthate and acetate. Although they are essentially the same compound, they have different esters. Trimbolone acetate is made up of short esters, and enanthate is made of longer ones. This means that acetate will work faster than enanthate, and subsequently the substance will be in and out of your system faster. Trimbolone acetate will also give you less side effects and water retention since it has a shorter half-life than enanthate. Most people who are more focused on weight loss will use acetate while someone else who is more focused on muscle gain will use enanthate. Despite this variation in structure, both compounds will result in similar gains post-cycle. Next is Trendolone or Trendhex. It is sold under the brand name Parabolin. Parabolin also increases red blood cell count and thus leads to more oxygen transportation throughout the body. This enhances muscle endurance of the body and makes training for performance activities easier. Like all anabolic steroids, parabolin increases the metabolic rate of the body, but unlike other steroids, it promotes direct fat loss. In this case, metabolic mass is not lost during fat loss. Now guys, in order for your body to get the optimal results, I suggest you pair trimbolone with other supplements such as testosterone or winstrol. Most bodybuilders choose to combine the Trimbolone and Winstrol for optimal fat loss and lean muscle gain. Many people will also do high Trimbolone and low testosterone stack. In this case they would do a testosterone enanthate at 300 mg a week while doing Trimbolone at 400 mg a week. The reason for this is because Trimbolone competes directly with testosterone for the same receptors, so people who wants to get the maximum benefits out of Trimbolone would choose to use a high-trend low-test combination. If you are planning to use this steroid, you must not top a dose of more than 50 mg per day as a beginner. Your dosage must not exceed 200 mg per week. This dosage may help you lose fat from your body. If you are already using this steroid for a fair period, you may increase your dosage by 75 to 100 mg per day. However, the same dosage must not exceed 400 mg per week. For the veteran users of this steroid, a daily dosage of 100 to 150 mg is recommended. Remember guys, you must not cross the 400 to 600 mg limit per week. Trimbolone can be injected once a week for about 8 to 10 weeks. It is also recommended to take a post-cycle therapy lasting an average of 2 weeks once your cycle of Trimbolone comes to an end. For enanthate and hex, it is suggested that you inject twice a week and for acetate, it is recommended you inject 3 times a week. Trimbolone, like any other anabolic steroids, has side effects. The strong androgenic nature of Trimbolone facilitates its tendency to produce excess production of male hormones and this is why it is not recommended for women for physique or performance enhancing purposes. Generally, its side effects are similar to other anabolic steroids, however, the negative side effects that are specifically facilitated by Trimbolone is an event called trend cough. This happens shortly after or during an injection, wherein other users experience a violent and extreme coughing lasting for several minutes. 
Furthermore, sometimes trimbolone can cause insomnia and heavy night sweat. Trimbolone will also increase your prolactin level and thus making you unable to get an erection while you're on it. This is what they call trend dick. Prolactin is basically a hormone that helps women produce milk. To fix this, all you need to take is Premapexil or Cabergoline to lower your prolactin level. That's it guys, this has been your friend, Larry, once again giving you this advice to regularly consult health professionals in considering the use of anabolic steroid. Till my next video.